Merry Chrysler! Hello, it's us, Annie and Ben, in front of our Christmas tree. We're uh, filming a Christmas card shoot right now. Just Christmas kidding. Card? Yeah, it's just kidding. It's a, that was a joke. That should be a thing that we do. Mm. Aunty rates Christmas cards. Merry Chrysler. So anyway, <laughs> uh, we are delivering this video to you because we have gotten exclusive information. Uh, maybe not just exclusive to us, but to a certain arcade influencers, I suppose. But uh, we're hoping that we're one of the first few people to reveal this information about a brand new coin pusher that's coming out from LAI Games. LAI Games, uh, one of their most well-known games that you've seen us play is Pearl Fishery. And they are coming out with a brand new coin pusher. Ne is there something in my ear? <laughs> I'm looking at your nose. What's on my... Is it the blackheads? It's, uh... Nope. Mary Chrysler. <laughs> I have a booger? No. Nope. No, it's it's the blackheads. I just oh, didn't okay. want you to feel bad. <laughs> Whatever. So anyways, LAI Games is coming out with a brand new coin pusher, and the name of the coin pusher is called Angry Birds Coin Crash. We have some video of this coin pusher that was supplied by LAI Games that we're going to be showing throughout this, and you can see kind of how it works. Uh, they also... Please stop looking at my blackheads. <laughs> I'm not. I'm looking at you now. <laughs> sure. We also... Um, have information about how the game works and I'm going to show some video footage of the game of the coin pusher which again is going to be available sometime next year this upcoming year and uh, I will read the description of how the game works as you kind of watch some footage and you can kind of see it for yourself but it's very very interesting and then we'll give our quick thoughts and let you know what we think of the game so here we go how to play Angry Birds Coin Crash. Guide your coins down the pin board with the slingshot and try to pass through the yellow, red, and blue cards for coin, token, and tower rewards as the tray constantly pushes coins off the edge. Yellow cards will drop more coins on the playfield, blue cards will earn you tickets, and red cards will help you build your tower meter while dropping coins and earning tickets. As coins pass over the edge, you'll earn tickets, but beware, you'll only get tickets for coins that fall through the center catcher. Here's where it gets exciting. When your tower meter is full, you'll have 20 seconds on the tower timer to rack up as many bonus spins as you can. Each coin through the red card while the tower timer counts down earns a spin. Once the timer hits zero, you'll be able to take your bonus spins. The number your egg lands on is the number of coins added to your tower, so the more spins you have, the bigger your tower will be. Collect five eggs from bonus spins to win the super bonus jackpot. Watch as your amazing tower gets built and pushed out onto the playfield where you can crash it over the edge for a major ticket win. If that wasn't exciting enough, it's not uncommon to get multiple towers on the playfield at once. Woo woo woo. Woo 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 woo. That's puta. So, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the game, Annie and I were talking about this earlier, it's really similar, it sounds really similar to Pearl Fishery. Like, it takes the components of Pearl Fishery, but uh, it does it in a way where the, like, where Pearl Fishery you have party time, and that's like the big thing, trying to get the super bonus jackpot, whatever. It takes that concept and it makes it for this coin tower and you can see from the video footage here like that's kind of the big purpose you want to have this coin tower built up as high as you can which is really reminiscent of a lot of the coin pushers in Japan where you have the coin towers and that kind of thing so you want to build up the coin tower so it's similar in the way it works seemingly to Pearl Fishery where if you get it through the little red card slot you're building up your coin tower and once you get that up to the top it goes into basically party time mode, and that's where you can get the bonus spins, and that's kind of another game in and of itself. So it sounds really interesting, and again, you can see some of the footage of how it works there, but uh, Aoni is the coin pusher queen, so what are your thoughts about the the game? Sound exciting to you? Oh, from the footage, I think it's personally exciting. Because like I said earlier to you, it's like... Some people don't like Pearl Fishery because it's not a legitimate coin, coin pusher. pusher. Right. And we've had people complain about that before, but it's like the best of both worlds. It's Pearl Fishery, but with coins. Yes. But And coin towers. And coin towers. It's like... And then Ben also said that it would be one of those games that it possibly it could play itself. 
almost like Marvel Carnival does, yeah. where you put some plays mm-hmm. on there. But because according to the, again, according to the instructions, when you build up your tower meter, you have 20 seconds of basically what on Pearl Fishery is party time. You have 20 seconds. Sorry, the camera quit on us for a second there. But anyways, uh, for bonus spins, what we're saying is you can rack up a lot of bonus spins, which means that the game could go on for quite some time, most likely, where it just kind of plays itself. And that's another thing. You could, depending on the chances of it falling through, you could get tiny stacks one round, and then the next stack you could get, or the next time you could get multiple stacks, or like a very large tower stack, so yeah. it would be interesting to see. And if you look at <clears throat> the the footage of the bonus wheel itself, because it says that if you get in the bonus spin, if you get it to land in that little egg slot five times, you win this, you know, mega bonus jackpot, which I'm assuming the mega bonus jackpot would be either coins added to your tower which would be like you know maybe they add 200 coins or 500 coins or something like that or maybe that's just free coins that come out and you know help push things but either way um you it seems like if you get a lot of bonus spins you have a pretty good chance of getting that jackpot so there's a lot of different games you know within the game like pearl fishery where there's you know the little spinny thing and you're trying to get the super bonus jackpot and then trying to get it in the individual slots but this adds a different level with the uh the coin tower and kind of how that works as well so for a coin pusher i would say you know as like a legitimate coin pusher really like you said it's the best of pearl fishery with some elements of like marble carnival a regular coin pusher and now a new feature for us anyways where you're going to have these coin towers Right. That you get to watch fall over. I could see only some people having a problem with the fact that you can't aim to get things. Like, so there's there's a certain niche of people who like the the you know to be able to take the arm and move it around, and then be able to get cards and collectibles and whatever. But I feel like that's a small amount of people. That's only a small amount of coin pushers as well. So, yeah, there's not. I mean, yeah, you're not winning cards or anything like that. Right. So, you're not. The control of where the coins go isn't as important, I guess. Although we'll have to. If we're watching the video, you'll be able to tell. But you can see. I think coins come out both sides. I don't think it comes out from one direction. I think coins actually fall, or they come out, they shoot out from both sides of the machine. So it's a pretty good spread, as opposed to like the DC comic coin pusher or SpongeBob, where they only come out down a little thing and they go right. like always to the corner. But again, you're not winning cards here. So, but it does say again, if I'm reading the uh, their uh, uh, sort of description, uh, it. It did say that you only get tickets for coins that fall through the center catcher. So you definitely want everything to be pushing towards the middle. Right. So there will be some coins that don't count towards your tickets, but the coin towers get built up in the center. And you can see from one of the videos kind of how they right. get built and it, it, it works its way up. So obviously the higher the coin tower, the more likely you are to win more tickets. And I do have to say, I think the pushing... If you are doing like the rapid fire or you're, you know, have multiple plays, more than just like 12 plays or whatever. You- I don't know why the camera keeps shutting off. It's never done that. This is a new thing this camera is doing where it shuts off after like three minutes of recording. But anyway, what I was saying was I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the value is of how many shots you get for credits and that kind of thing. But I think the theming is interesting. You know, the Angry Birds. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of understand the concept of the way that they will theme the machine with uh, the whole idea of, like, crash or whatever. I f- I feel like maybe it could have gone a different direction as far as the brand that they chose to do, but I'm sure they're limited with licensing and things that they have. Right. So I'm okay with Angry Birds, but... Um, it just seems You're not going to have, like, Angry Bird collectible cards, which is, again, why I think it works right. for this machine, because... I don't know what's happening with the camera. It's going wonky. Now it just shuts off whenever it wants. It's possessed. It is possessed. Are we still? Okay. But anyway, yeah, I think the game's going to be a success uh, regardless of theming. But it sounds exciting. And 
It doesn't, again, they don't say when, they didn't say when exactly it was going to be um, available. Well, they said sometime next year, but we don't know when. And who knows, you know, what the way things are for us right now, when the coin pusher will be available around us. But we certainly do hope that we get a chance to play it uh, think, when it comes out, because that would be a lot of fun. You think, like, round one would be the first place that would probably get it? Um, not you, necessarily. Do you think Clubhouse Fun Center might get it? I mean, Clubhouse Fun Center got Pearl Fishery, which before is LA Games before got. our local round one did. So around us, our round one might get it later, the one in Erie. But I would say round ones would be probably some of the first to get a game, this sort of game. I don't know if Dave & Buster's would get a game. Uh, sometimes they have testing locations, so you have to check and see. But Maybe so, in Buffalo. They might have it. Well, Buffalo tests games for ICE, not for LAI. So I'm assuming LAI would test first out on the West Coast, not the East Coast. <sighs> but So we'll see what happens. But it does sound interesting. And uh, I'm glad that LAI is coming out with new, innovative coin pusher type games. And they're taking something that they already know is successful in Pearl Fishery. And they're just kind of adding, adding to, to it. it. Yeah. So that's good. But anyway, hopefully you uh, enjoy this. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts about this uh, Angry Birds coin crash coin pusher game that will be coming out, whether or not you'd be interested in playing it. And uh, there are some tags and stuff in the description. And you can tweet at LAI and you can let them know that you saw this video from us, the Arcade Couple, highlighting this game, hyping up for them. Uh, so you can let LAI know about that. But anyway... Yeah, let us know in the comments what you think about the game and if you would play it. And, and is it going to be Audi's new favorite coin pusher? And yes, will it usurp no, Marble Carnival. Carnival, which apparently is now Audi's favorite coin pusher. I still personally, Quarry Quest, after playing that at Hershey Park. I didn't like it. It's still my favorite, like, legitimate coin pusher game because it's Ticket Circus, just Flintstones with a couple added features, which I like. But, but it was only at Hershey that it was added. Well, yeah, around us, but it's been out other places. Um, but just based off what I've seen from this game and reading the description and stuff, I think this could easily be the best coin pusher that uh, we could play. So New coin pushers, new roller coasters, man. We just need the United States to open back up again. That's all we need. But anyway... Thanks for watching. Again, let us know in the comments below your thoughts, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. And if we don't see you before Christmas, I'm sure we will probably see you at some point before Christmas. I'll put a video out, and we'll say Merry Christmas. But if we don't see you before then... Merry Chrysler! Merry Chrysler! Okay, thanks for watching. Bye! Oh Tree! <laughs>